Y'all, Nicki Minaj is currently embodying the villain role as she navigates some turbulent times. Both Nicki Minaj and Cardi B find themselves embroiled in a contentious dispute over which of their husbands could be considered the worst. Recently, Offset, Cardi B's husband, was criticized harshly for fathering a child with another woman while married to Cardi. Amidst this turmoil, Nicki Minaj decided to throw shade at Cardi, prompting an immediate retort. Cardi B not only mocked Nikki for her marriage to a man with a criminal record involving sexual assault, but also disclosed that he had previously been involved in a fatal incident. Cardi escalated the feud by bringing forth evidence of Nikki's purported substance dependency. This dramatic escalation suggests that the feud between Nikki and Cardi is heating up once again. The controversy surrounding Offset and Cardi B gained traction after a woman named Blue revealed that Offset allegedly impregnated her friend. The conflict began when two of Blue's acquaintances, Pri and Kayla, attempted to intimidate her online, including leaking her personal information. In retaliation, Blue exposed the allegations against Offset, saying, to post my address was a low blow, but I've got something even more damning because this all stems from your husband, she explained. This is all happening because a married man impregnated someone, paid her to terminate the pregnancy, and she started talking. Everyone assumed I was the one spreading the word, but it was actually the woman involved in the termination who was talking. I don't care anymore because while you're busy revealing my address, you can't even manage to keep your own personal affairs private. Blue then shared a message from Pri, which read, blocked while you're typing, I have more important issues to handle. Didn't you breach an NDA or something? Unperturbed, Blue responded, you think you can intimidate me over an NDA, Pri? That's bizarre. Did you really think I cared? You've all been harassing me since March, and he's the one who's messy. He went back and told you I had an NDA, then you messaged me my full name. Nobody knew about the NDA except for me and Offset. It appears that Offset forked out $155,000 to Pri to address their pregnancy issue. Furthermore, the tale unfolds that he shelled out the same amount to Blue to ensure her silence. However, the saga doesn't end there. According to sources, he involved their mutual friend Kayla to add fuel to the fire, allegedly paying her to target Blue due to his concerns about her revealing the details. This situation is undeniably tangled, but Blue has made her evidence public. She posted, This guy offered me 15K to keep quiet. I stayed true. This happened on March 6th, the very day Kayla unexpectedly approached me with hostility. Additionally, she uploaded screenshots of her conversations with Offset, where he seems to intimidate her for disclosing to Cardi B that he paid Pre for an abortion. Offset's message read, B, you'll come to understand and get over me. You're a liar and the instigator of all this mess. You continue to feed her lies about me. Blue added, he texted me this just as I was getting out of the car, as if he sent Kayla after me thinking I'd spoken to Cardi, even after he had sent me money because I hadn't breathed a word to anyone. She further asserted her claims about Offset's attempt to have Kayla attack her, explaining, Kayla confronted me at Cavo's bar, asking, what did you say about my best friend Pre and Offset? I had to act first, questioning if this was a setup. Was it that Offset and Pre thought I was divulging everything to Cardi? Moreover, the blogger got the scoop, claims that Offset has been exceedingly anxious about Cardi B discovering his entanglements with his baby mama. On the same day, he messaged Blue to get her contact information and ensure her silence. He even reached out to got the scoop with intense threats, a sign of his desperation. Offset messaged, you my man, why are you spreading lies to my wife, regardless of your issues with others? You've got my wife believing I got someone pregnant. What's wrong with you? Speak up, man, the blogger responded. Firstly, don't jump into my messages talking nonsense when you don't know the full story. I haven't spoken to your wife, nor was I the one who claimed you got someone pregnant. Get your facts straight before you speak. I simply shared what someone else said about Pri because she's notorious for her loose talk and betrayals. Then people start gossiping. So what are you on about? Hold on, it gets even more complicated. It appears that Pri is not the only woman who might be pregnant by Offset. According to a new blind item on Crazy Days and Nights, there's at least one more woman carrying his child. The item stated, the married one named rapper, who was formerly part of a trio, continues to impregnate various women, and his significantly more famous wife just keeps overlooking it. However, 
Her tolerance might end when these women decide to keep the babies, and she ends up responsible for the child support payments. Tragically, fans had already been cautioning Cardi B about such eventualities, given Offset's inability to remain faithful. He's notorious for his escapades, frequently connecting with Instagram celebrities. Back in 2018, an incident occurred where Cardi B and her entourage threw bottles and drinks at Jade and her sister while they were at work. It was alleged that Cardi B discovered Jade's involvement with Offset, which enraged her. She even went as far as allegedly hiring two individuals to confront Jade and her sister, resulting in legal proceedings. Cardi B ultimately admitted guilt to charges of third-degree and second-degree reckless endangerment, receiving a sentence of 15 days of community service. However, this was not Offset's first infidelity. Recall the incident where he attempted to arrange a threesome with rapper Cuban Doll and her friend, saying, I want you and Cuban. Can you make that happen? I go to New Orleans tomorrow. I'll fly you all, I'll fly her there. Say on Saturday. Cuban Doll later criticized Cardi B on Twitter, stating, I pray a man doesn't marry me just to cheat on me. That's next level disrespect. She added, girl, shut up. We never had a problem until you dry tweeted that stuff about me. Me and you haven't been cool since Offset was trying to sleep with me. Those are fighting words. Offset's history of infidelity is well known, and his indiscretions have been particularly embarrassing due to his mistresses often publicly disrespecting Cardi B or revealing their relationships on social media, even after her attempts to maintain privacy. This pattern was evident in 2018 when Cardi B initiated a divorce, citing a gradual emotional drift. Things just haven't been working out between us for a long time, and it's nobody's fault. It's just like, I guess we grew out of love, but we're not together anymore. Though they intended to remain friends, she explained, Things haven't been working out between us for a long time, and it's nobody's fault. It's just like, I guess we grew out of love, but we're not together anymore. However, the situation was exacerbated when a previously unknown woman came forward, admitting to an affair with Offset, which added to the turmoil. Since Offset became a father, I have distanced myself from him. The gravity of his marriage was unclear to me. I only saw what was publicly available. It was only today that I fully grasped the entirety of the situation. Many women might boast about taking Cardi B's man or being the reason for their divorce. However, I feel ashamed. I have not messed with Offset since he's had his baby. Um, I didn't know how serious this marriage was. Um, you know, I kind of read or kind of see things, but um, I haven't like, I, it took until today to actually like get into this. Uh, seeing everything. You know, a lot of girls would just deal with this situation and just be like, yo, like, um, I took Cardi B's nigga or I'm the reason that they're getting a divorce or anything. Like, I feel um, ashamed. Um, yeah. Indeed, Offset has a questionable taste in partners. He's foolish, Brad. Indeed, Offset has consistently behaved as a remorseless adulterer, allowing his extramarital partners to openly humiliate Cardi B. He appears to be attracted to outspoken women and the pursuit of public attention, even at the cost of Cardi's dignity. With ongoing allegations of his cheating and reports of at least two women expecting his children, it's understandable that Cardi B is already taking steps to protect her assets. An insider revealed, Cardi made most of the money for the family. She's focused on saving and investing, whereas Offset tends toward extravagant spending. Although they both earned substantially during their marriage, the vast majority of their current wealth, around 95%, belongs to Cardi. This includes significant real estate holdings, a home in Atlanta where Cardi and the children reside, and another in New Jersey where her mother lives. Cardi will retain both properties. Without her financial contributions, Offset's true financial status is far less impressive than he projects. He spends money extravagantly, and his allure is fading. His future without Cardi's support is likely to be starkly different. According to a source, 
Nicki Minaj has been thoroughly enjoying the recent drama. Amidst the backlash against Offset and Cardi B, Nicki tweeted provocatively, who up, what, followed by, I just found out. The source elaborates that Nicki derives considerable satisfaction from the situation, especially since it comes shortly after the Barty gang criticized her husband Kenneth Petty for discussing his controversial past concerning women. A few weeks prior, speculation about troubles in her marriage arose when Nicki tweeted, yes, single. This led fans to believe she might be distancing herself from Kenneth, a move many saw as beneficial given his detrimental effect on her public persona. It's widely known that Kenneth was involved in a severe legal issue involving a woman and allegedly leveraged Nikki's fame to intimidate the victim. Furthermore, Kenneth Petty previously admitted guilt to first-degree manslaughter for the 2002 killing of Lamont Robinson. Initially charged with a more severe count in 2006, he managed to negotiate a lesser charge of first-degree manslaughter. Reports indicate that Kenneth Petty fatally shot Robinson multiple times. Consequently, he received a 10-year sentence, though he was released after seven years in 2013, remaining under supervised release for another five years. During this period of legal scrutiny and public intimacy with Nikki, he was still under official supervision. Nikki has also openly defended Kenneth on social media, arguing he was young, she was young, and in a relationship. But go off, internet. You can't run my life. You can't even run your own life. Well, honestly, it seems inappropriate for her to critique Cardi B, given that her own husband's behavior is equally questionable. An insider has disclosed that Cardi has been targeting Nikki and her spouse, alleging that Nikki is supposedly struggling with drug issues. She claims that Nikki's husband, Kenneth, has been enabling this for his own gain. Cardi reportedly feels she's in a superior position because, according to her, Kenneth is leeching off Nikki and exploiting her financially. At this point, it appears clear that both women are dealing with challenging spouses who continually embarrass them. Nikki's husband has committed manslaughter and committed an assault, and Cardi's husband is notorious for his infidelities. I think it's time for both women to consider divorcing their spouses and perhaps look into remarrying to resolve this conflict once and for all. You know, the fans have been quite vocal on social media, urging Nikki and Cardi to ditch their disappointing husbands and, half-jokingly, to start dating each other. No offense intended, but both Nikki and Cardi are dealing with husbands who constantly bring shame upon them. Every 10 seconds, their spouses manage to embarrass them, and they seem indifferent to it until they personally suffer the consequences. The situation is utterly bewildering, but I'm eager to hear your opinions. Let me know in the comments whether you think these women should leave their husbands and move on, or if you're rooting for Team Cardi or Team Nikki. Drop your thoughts below and then go ahead and check out the next video.